Welcome to number 7 Bullamore Grove in Kenilworth. This beautifully presented, largely refurbished and extended four double bedroom family home is located within easy reach of Kenilworth Town Centre, its local amenities and schools. Benefiting from off-road parking for four plus vehicles, a detached double garage and large lawned rear garden, this beautiful executive style detached home is available exclusively through Peter Clark. Let me show you around. Starting off with the entrance hall, which is accessed through this bright and airy entrance porch. Just here, we have double glazed windows to both front and side elevations. Let me just pan down, and you can see we've got ceramic tile flooring here. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this house because it is absolutely wonderful. Four double bedrooms, three bathrooms, three reception rooms, extended kitchen living dining room, utility, guest WC, large lawn rear garden and detached double garage with off-road parking for four plus cars. Absolutely stunning home. So we come through the porch into this incredible entrance hall. We have stairs rising to the first floor gallery landing, high grade vinyl flooring throughout in here. And this gives way to living room, dining room, family room or study, and the kitchen, living dining room. Sorry, that noise you can hear in the background is a rabbit in the back garden. <laughs> so, let's have a little look. Little under stairs storage cupboard just there. And if I spin around to my right hand side, we'll start off with the guest WC. Has a modern white suite comprising low level WC and dual flush, pedestal mounted wash hand basin, an obscured double glazed window to the side elevation, ceramic tiling to uh, the floor and all of the recessed shelves. From here, if we pan round, we're going to head through into this 21 foot dual aspect living room. Incredible space here, large bay window to the front elevation. Again, this high grade vinyl flooring in here, which leads through all the way into the family room as well. And then you've got sliding double glazed patio doors, giving views and direct access onto the rear terrace and lawn garden beyond. And it is an absolutely stunning garden. As always, we'll give you the sneak peek here of what to expect. Absolutely beautiful. And you've got this wonderful pergola on the back here, which look great with I know, something growing over it. But a really, really lovely space to have uh, dinner of an evening, I think. Right, let's spin around and we can see what we have. So, 21 foot dual aspect living room, as I say, high grade vinyl flooring. There is, behind those chairs there on the left hand side, there is an inset, uh, non-functional but feature fireplace. Access door, top right hand corner there from the entrance hall. And then we've got double doors into what would be a formal dining room or could be a family room. In this case here being utilised as a secondary sitting area. But it's plenty big enough to have it as a formal dining room. And again has direct access from the entrance hallway and then double width access through into the kitchen diner. Large bay window to the rear elevation. Again, fantastic views over that stunning, beautiful, beautiful rear garden. Let's head on into the, uh, the kitchen, living, dining room. Now this has been largely extended, doubled in size in fact, and refitted with an off-white shaker style kitchen comprising a range of wall and base mounted units with solid wood butcher's block work surfaces over and an inset one and one half bowl stainless steel sink with ceramic drainer. Integrated appliances include combination microwave oven, double oven, wine cooler, full-size larder fridge and full-size larder freezer. Again, 600 mil dishwasher. And you've got this wonderful breakfast bar area here. Seating for two on this side and at the end, again, seating for two further. So it's a really, really great family kitchen space, this. As you can see, they've got formal dining at the rear of the kitchen area, which provides space for, quite comfortably, eight people. And that could be extended out to 10 quite easily, I would have thought. And the rear section as well 
has got vaulted ceiling. See if we can see that here with two Velux roof lights as well, providing loads of natural light. And again, wonderful views over that laundry garden. Off on the right hand side, we've got sliding patio door, which gives direct access onto the paved rear dining terrace. And in here as well, we've also got really lovely ceramic floor tiling. It's a really useful and practical, but also elegant kitchen dining space. Plenty big enough if you had seating for six in here to actually get sofas in as well. Now to the uh, rear of the kitchen here, you can see an open archway which leads through into the utility, but I won't go through that door. I'll pop through here and you'll get a better view. There's the aforementioned rabbit. So in here, you've got space and plumbing for both washing machine and tumble dryer. And it also plays host to the modern Worcester Bosch gas central heating boiler as well. Side access door leads to a very wide and paved side walkway, which uh, is accessed down the side of the garage and benefits from a lockable side access gate. Back into the entrance hall, and we go through to a formal study, currently being utilized as a study in playroom. Again, large double glazed bay window. This overlooks the full garden. There we go. And in here, we benefit from that lovely high grade vinyl flooring. Plenty of space for a home study or ideal for a, a kids play area, as you can see. So a quick recap, that's three large reception rooms on the ground floor, extended and refitted kitchen, living, dining room, guest WC and utility and large reception hall. Let's head up to the first floor gallery landing and I can show you these wonderful bedrooms. So four spacious bedrooms up here, all of which are capable of taking a double bed. And we have this large gallery landing, as I said. Double glazed window to the front elevation, looking out onto Bullimore Grove. And we'll start with the master bedroom. Currently housing a king size bed this large double bedroom. Again, a very big double glazed window to the front elevation, loads of natural light coming in. And lots of greenery around on this development as well. It's, uh, it's matured really, really nicely. Now I'm not gonna open it because we've stored a lot of stuff in there for today, but through that door on the right hand side is actually a fully fitted walk-in wardrobe and dressing area. So that's, uh, a real bonus here for the master bedroom. Let me see if I can show you this from a slightly different angle. So it uh, negates any need for any wardrobes in this room. Leading through on my right hand side here, we've got a recently refitted and beautifully appointed contemporary style master ensuite bath and shower room. So you've got a wall mounted wash hand basin with monoblock tap, enclosed shower cubicle, that's dual headed, mains fed with a sliding glass screen and dual flush enclosed system, low level WC. If I step into the bathroom and spin around here, you'll also see we've got a dual ended full size bath with retracting shower head attachment. And then you've got wonderful side facing double glazed window, completely private, just with greenery around you. Wonderful relaxing space to be able to unwind. So back into the master bedroom, as I say, walk-in wardrobe there in front of me. And we're gonna go across the hallway to bedroom two, or the guest bedroom. 
another really, really good double room this. Again, housing a king size bed, rear facing double glazed window. This overlooks the rear garden. I'll give you a, a peek out there in just a second. And what we also have in here is three double fronted built-in storage wardrobes comprising of a range of shelving and hanging storage space. And four of those are mirror fronted as well. If I spin around here, you can see there's also room for a cot as well. Not only that, another refitted ensuite bathroom. This one, the guest ensuite, has an oversized P-shaped bath with mains fed shower over and a fixed glass screen. It's also got a retractable shower head attachment. There's another wall-mounted wash hand basin with useful vanity units underneath and an enclosed dual flush WC. Obscured double glazed window to the rear elevation and ceramic tile into floor and all splashback areas. Really is a good size this. I think it's something in the region of 11 foot by 5 foot 5 so it's a, it's a really big guest en suite. Now I promised a a peek over the garden from here, didn't I? So let me just open this window and I can show you what we've got. So as you can see, very, very beautiful garden and it's not overlooked. Stunning stepped lawned area and large dining terrace underneath this wonderful pergola. That terrace continues around the back of the kitchen and then onto the paved side walkway as well. Well stocked plants and shrub borders on all sides. And it really is a beautiful space to be out in. Right, that's enough of that for now. Let me uh, take you on to the family bathroom. Then we can go and do it outside. So, again, modern refitted family bathroom, oversized dual ended bath, vanity unit mounted wash hand basin with under counter storage and enclosed dual flush cistern WC. Not only that, we have a freestanding shower cubicle. If I come in and spin around, you can have a proper look at that. Again, with a mains fed waterfall style shower. And that's got a hinged glass screen. You can step around here. You can see just how big this bathtub is as well. Another retractable shower head attachment and a large dual ended bath. Right, bedroom three. Another sizable double in all fairness. This one has twin single beds. These are full size single beds. And look at the space that you've got between them. You've also got a freestanding wardrobe in here which obviously wouldn't be included. But further to that, there's also a triple fronted built-in wardrobe that would be included. So it really is another large double bedroom. Again, rear facing double glazed window. Lovely view over the garden from here. And then, will lead on to the fourth and final bedroom. Now this room currently being utilized as a child's nursery, but it does measure 10 foot by eight foot, which is plenty big enough as a guest double if you wanted to put one in there. So you've got quite a bit of furniture in here, high grade vinyl flooring, ceiling mounted lighting and central heating radiator, and another Great double glazed window to the front elevation and from here you can see just how big this driveway is. So as I say there's ample parking on just the tarmac section for four cars and then you've got the block paved section as well which to be honest you could squeeze another two cars on there quite comfortably. Off on the right hand side you can see detached double garage which benefits from both power and lighting and has up and over electrically operated garage doors. There's also a lockable timber and glazed rear access door which is accessible from the side walkway. 
Right, so to recap, on the first floor we've got four double bedrooms, family bathroom, two ensuite bathrooms, both with shower facilities. On the ground floor, three spacious reception rooms, guest WC and utility, large entrance porch and reception hallway, and then this wonderful kitchen, living, dining room. Let's head out to the rear garden and I can show you the final jewel in the crown here. It is rather a lovely day for it today. Let's just step over in this corner and you can see just how wonderful this garden space is. So there's a large paved rear dining terrace accessed directly from the kitchen living dining room and also on my left hand side just here by the sliding doors straight from the living room itself. That has steps leading up to the first lawn and then further stone steps leading up to the further raised lawn at the rear there. We're fencing closed on three sides and the garden benefits from well stocked plants and shrub borders and beds. The obligatory trampoline. And there's this raised lawn section at the rear of the garden. Let me see if I can spin you around here and you can see just how lovely this garden and the house actually are. There you go. Well, there we have it, folks. Number seven, Bullamore Grove in Kenilworth. If you have any further questions relating to this or any of the other properties on our books, please do feel free to give me a call. My name is Matthew Correll. Thank you for watching.